Okay, so I came across this tweet from Walker Bragman when I was uh, riding home on the train earlier tonight, and it just shed some more light on how horrible Christy Smith is as a candidate, and she would be horrible if she got elected to California's 25th district. And again, Christy Smith is the one of the Jenk Uger's opponents. The Democratic establishment has basically done everything they could to prop her up because she supports the kind of neoliberal establishment consensus. So they've, you know, put all of their eggs in Christy Smith's basket. And Jenk Uger, you know, obviously is fighting for a progressive working class agenda. And he's been trying to get to de get Christy Smith to debate him, but she's been hiding the whole time because she knows she loses when it's about the issues and, and policy. So she's just trying to, you know, stay stay out of the spotlight as much as possible because when she gets called out on, on her record and the things she supports, it does not look good. It looks actually really, really bad. And this is just another <clears throat> example of that. And then, so yeah, we see the DCCC endorsed her over Chen Kuger today. And this is a pretty interesting report card. I've saw this floating around before. This is the first time I uh, had a chance to go over and it's pretty troubling. Some of the things that she either didn't support or that, or that she voted no. So the progressive group Courage California gave her an F on her report card. And one of the things is that she voted against um, this kind of rent control measure that would have capped uh, rent increases at 5% for 12 months, as well as landlords would have to give just cause to tenants before evicted them. She voted no against that. And then look, Christy Smith once voted rent uh, against rent caps after receiving money from California real estate pack. Boom. So just another example of her being in, uh, you know, the, the corporate pop. Um, pocket and we saw the same thing with regards to uh the health insurance industry they they support her and what do you know she doesn't support medicare for all and so this is the report card go back to the top uh, and i'll leave this in the link uh, down below in case you want to check it out let's see so some of the things i mean she voted for some things that are you know okay i guess um what, what then like she support looks like she maybe should supports charter schools which is not 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 good um let's see so she does have an okay thing on the environment strengthening emission reporting requirements and transparency on environment environmental impact of abandoned wells um so this is one of the first strikes against her for me. She doesn't, I don't know where Jank stands on this, um, but um, Christy Smith voted against uh, safe injection sites to operate in the Bay Area. And, you know, safe injection sites are a form of harm reduction and a form of public health outreach. Um, you know, people are going to use drugs regardless if they are legal or not. They should be legal. We should tax and regulate it, use that money to fund public health services, things like things like this that save people's lives and keep people from transmitting diseases to each other. She's not in support of that. Um, and then she's uh, prohibits the state from charging inmates administrative fee for medical visit. That's that's okay. And then so this is where it looks like it even gets a little more questionable. So a I believe that's either she was absent or abstained from voting. Um, creates Bay Area Housing Finance Authority to raise and distribute affording affordable housing funds. So again, you know it makes sense. She's receiving money from this real estate pack. She's not in support of affordable housing and looks like she either was absent or abstained from that vote. So there you go. <clears throat> and then she looks like she's in the pocket of <laughs> law enforcement. Um, either voted absent or abstained from establishing civilian oversight of county sheriff's departments. I, it, it's been clear for, I don't know, time immemorial that we need civilian oversight over law enforcement in the United States because they're just able to commit these egregious crimes, these egregious violations of people's civil rights. And, you know, more often than not, they're, uh, you know, acquitted by the department or found to have not done anything wrong by these internal investigations. We definitely need civilian oversight. 
she doesn't support that. And then here's that rent control provision I spoke about before. AB 1482 voted no capped rent control at 5% in 12 month period and forces landlords to present just cause before evicting. I mean, do we need how much more evidence do we need from Christy Smith, her voting record, um, and just her policy platform like on her website? Um, she doesn't support rent control. You're not you're not for or in support of the working people if you don't support rent control. Like and this is like pretty much like five percent in twelve months who's most people's wages don't go up five percent in in twelve months. And she's also okay with landlords being able to to evict without just cause. Like that is nuts. And how how would you feel if Chrissy Smith if you know, you were in the place and the position in your life you got evicted from your house and the landlord didn't have to present just cause or how would you feel if you were uh, making minimum wage and your rent just skyrockets you know up each year and you're not able to afford it so you get lose your house that way those are the type of um, you know policies and ramifications from her her voting pattern and it's horrible Let's see, lowers voting age 17, that's that's good, I support that. But then look, doesn't restore voting rights for people on parole that people have served their time and more often than not, people are going to jail for really stupid stuff like nonviolent drug offenses. Um, so just her, her whole voting record or lack of a strong voting record, it just, you know, just speaks to her whole kind of lack of humanity or connection or empathy for the working people of this country uh, and of California's 25th district. She's not, she gets elected. She's not going to do the bidding of the people. She's going to be doing the bidding of those real estate super PACs and health insurance companies that have been donating her campaign so she can fight against things like Medicare for all and rent control. And then what, <sighs> Just like, just seems like she really has a thing against um, people who have been formerly formerly incarcerated. And obviously, we know that the criminal justice system is um, horribly horribly uh, just just racist and uh, you know uh, racist to its core. In addition, you know, if you're a lower income person, you're more likely to get sent sent to prison for things if you had money and you could afford you know, good legal representation that you would just get a, a slap on the wrist or maybe some community service. So she's not, she voted no against Senate Bill 3, 310, which allowed formerly, which would have allowed formerly incarcerated people to serve on juries. Like, what the hell? These people have served their time. More often than not, like I said, they shouldn't have been in prison in the first place. The, the American injustice system is just so horrible and messed up and then once you go through that Christy's like no still can't serve on a jury you're still going to treat you as less than a person you still shouldn't be able to participate in the democratic process this way just just again a total lack of humanity and compassion for her help for her help for her fellow human beings and it's just really uh disgusting oh and then look boom doesn't support um, uh, giving voters more information on potentially progressive taxation measures. She again, she's just she's in. She's fully bought and paid for by the uh, corporations and the Democratic establishment, and she's not going to fight for anything really that's going to drastically improve the lives of people in California's twenty fifth district or people you know, in the United States or the world more broadly. And um, her voting rec, no wonder she got an F. I mean, that's pretty bad. Again, you know, we need to do everything that we can to make sure Jank is the Democratic um, nominee for this, or for this, or wins this race, I should say, the special election. Because I believe he would fight for a progressive working class agenda, things like a Green New Deal, Medicare for All, legalizing marijuana, free college, canceling medical debt, you know, Bernie Sanders platform. Um, and then she voted no and SB 329 prohibits landlords from rejecting applicants based on Section 8 status. That's just very, 
um, very racist as well as kind of classist to not <laughs> to not support that. That's that's just messed up. And then there's looks like look she voted again against the rent <laughs> rent control increase. Unless that was the same date, let's let's check it out. So that was look. That was a 9-11. Yeah, she's voted against it twice in the same year. Wow. Wow, Christy Smith, you're... I mean, it's obviously not surprising that you got an F on this. Unless you're maybe being... Uh, unless the organization doing the judging was full of, uh, you know, real estate packs and health insurance companies, then, yeah, you know, you, you, you do really well with them. <laughs> yep and then not in support of how uh affordable housing because what do you know real estate super PACs are donating money to her campaign let's see and establishes penalties what the i, I mean it, it's it is so clear like all of her votes against the rent increases um, against the rent control measures, I should say, as well as the, uh, you need to show just cause to, to evict. And then she voted no for establishing penalties for claims that arise under the Fair Housing and Employment Act. I mean, this is just horrible. This is, this is Christy Smith. Again, she doesn't support Medicare for all. She's bought and paid for by the health insurance companies. She's against affordable housing because she's bought and paid for by big real estate. She doesn't support free college. I doubt she supports a Green New Deal. She's a centrist. She's regressive in, in her policies and her platform, and she would bring that type of agenda to Washington, D.C., and that's not what I don't believe California's 25th district or the United States or the world needs right now. We need bold, progressive people with, you know, these bold, progressive ideas who they're willing, who are willing to stand up and fight for those to make sure things like Medicare for all, free college, a Green New Deal become a reality. Cenk Kuger, I believe, would do that. Let's do everything we can to make sure Cenk gets in Congress and can help you know, Bernie and these other progressive Democrat and senators transform this country in a positive way. Um, those are my thoughts. Christy Smith's horrible jinx, jinx, jinx okay in my book. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Peace.